Wow. I'm not sure how we can follow what just happened and what has happened in the last two days. I honestly um, literally speechless. Uh, it's been uh, an amazing uh, journey, two years in the making. I honestly couldn't imagine two years ago that when we came up with this little title, Reclaiming the City, uh, that we would get such a, an amazing array of feedbacks and, and reflections and inspirations and motivations and, you know, that we start with uh, concerns embedded in the title about social justice and end up uh, talking about emancipation and poetic uh, politics. Uh, we uh, have been, you have been incredibly generous. I want to thank, obviously, my uh, accomplice, Semi O, Professor Yu and the NAM Center and everybody and all of you and all of you spirits, <laughs> virtual people, uh, for being here. Uh, I think probably the, 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 most, uh, the most obvious thing to say is that it is a success when a, a, a sort of simple expression like reclaiming the city that sounds rather pedestrian uh, ends up provoking so many thoughts, and it, it, it ends up being enriched by your contribution, you know, because we now reclaim memory, we reclaim time, we reclaim language, we reclaim presence, we reclaim the self, and we reclaim the collective, and we reclaim the right to be, and I think that's one of the probably most important uh, themes that have run through the conference, is, is the right to presence, the right to have a voice, the have the right not to be erased from history, the, rise, the, the right to be heard. Uh, and I think uh, looking uh, uh, at what it takes to claim that right, you know, to fight the opaqueness of power, of power systems that, uh, as they say, somebody said today, evil is smart. And it's so smart that it looks an idiot, but it's actually very smart and it's very pervasive. So to look behind that opaqueness uh, and to understand the mechanism in which it sort of camouflages itself in the form of public parks, manicured public parks in Incheon to neutralize politics, right? By memorializing and making fantastically monumental cemeteries to neutralize the very ritual of a mother embracing a, a grave that opaqueness of power uh, is always going to be a challenge, and I think that's probably to address some of the questions about this sort of conservative turn that we have to keep pushing against uh, to reclaim that, that, that right to presence, that right to be heard, right? That right that sometimes is about resistance that takes the form of an aim to change. Maybe in listening to the city, the idea of change the idea of uh, stopping something from happening, but also the right to, as uh, so they would say, to have an autonomy, to have a space of one's own, not all to be covered by the all-embracing system that, that seems to want to control it all, but to find a spaces of autonomy, right? And, and one finds that, that suddenly small things begin to take a, a, a sort of powerful presence, you know, black stones in Jeju suddenly are, are this materiality, you know, soil or fonts, you know, these little things that can be reclaimed presence and reclaimed dignities uh, have, have such a wonderful, uh, I don't know, poetic po potential, emancipatory potential. So I, for one, uh, find that uh, I end up with an incredibly optimistic uh, sense of what can be done, and I really want to thank you all again for sharing uh, what in many cases, um, not in many cases, in all cases, are, are incredible commitments and acts of courage of carving spaces in, in the world to, to, to do what you do. Uh, and, you know, we have had uh, quite a ride, you know, from Utapa, uh, 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 you know, uh, the clumsy lesbian to uh, <laughs> 
to um, amazing uh, touching moments of, of remembrance and grief to uh, you know, incredible acts of courage of resistant gangsters in the streets to God knows what. So I could go on forever, but I won't. I uh, just want to thank you again and uh, congratulate you and hope that this is the beginning of new forms of collaboration that we can find creative modes of finding common places where our work can intersect and, and maybe take new turns and find new, new ways of, of being in the world. Thank you so much. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Youngju. Um, my deepest gratitude goes to all the presenters, discussants, moderators, U of M faculty, and everyone who um, participated in this conference. But I want to give a shout out to uh, three very important people who made this possible. We were able to connect with you in the virtual space and make this conference probably the most seamless and successful hybrid conference that I know, but that's <laughs> I'm being modest. I've been hearing a lot of praises um, for our team. So I just want to acknowledge Kelsey, Evan, and Kate. <laughs> You made this possible, so thank you very much. I am sorry to put you on the spotlight, but please, Youngju, would you mind make your way up here and close for us? Thank you. I apologize for like submitting a question for every single panel except for one, and then I think I gave the question to uh, to uh, Sujin because I didn't get a chance to ask it. Uh, but it was genuinely because I had burning questions to ask, and it's so rare at a conference that that happens. So all I can say is just, I mean, again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, um, Francisco and Sammy. Uh, I know I said at the very beginning of the conference um, yesterday, but it feels like months ago now, um, that everything that Sammy touches uh, you know, turns to gold, uh, and it's turns to gold, you know, in this alchemic way uh, with beauty and grace. But I think uh, before this conference, I didn't realize just how much power and steel there is in beauty. So I think that that's, this conference has proven to be that. Um, I'm extremely um, inspired by the fact that Architects, I, I missed them in my opening um, comment. I didn't identify them um, by name. Architects, academics, artists, and activists came together in this conference. Uh, I think that's a very rare kind of event. Uh, we are so siloed in what we do. So I hope this could be a model for other collaborations um, going forward, and I Hope we can all remain in touch um, and keep ourselves accountable to one another, to uh, keep ourselves inspired by what one another continues to do. Um, so yeah, let's reclaim the city. <laughs>